Hello YouTube, this is Cammy Frog Legs. I'm making another video on um, taking care of yourself. Um, as you know, I do a lot of working out. Uh, I do 5Ks, 10Ks, triathlons, bikeathons. I Zumba after work, I yoga after Zumba. I'm fairly busy when it comes to working out. Um, you know, can't keep my government body if I don't actually work out. Because Lord knows I love, I love ice cream and chocolate and anything sweet. Uh, so I gotta counteract that. But my video, this video is not about my diet. Um, well, it is kind of. Um, but make sure you're taking care of yourself. Uh, make sure you're getting all of the nutrients that you need. If you feel like you're not, please make sure you're actually taking a multivitamin. Um, in boot camp, they actually offer the female females um, prenatal vitamins, um, and I had some, and I had gotten them. Um, I took them for about two weeks and then realized that they were making me constipated, and I stopped taking them because I was like, I don't want to have to take a laxative now in order to go to the, yeah, I just didn't like it. I was on a regular schedule where I was going like every morning after breakfast and then I stopped going after breakfast and it was like dinner time and then I wasn't going for a couple of days. So I was like, nope, mm -mm, we're not doing this. So I stopped taking them. I, was, I weaned myself off of them. I took them every couple of days and then I just stopped taking them all together. Um, and then in boot camp, I don't think I ever took them not boot camp, uh, A school. I don't think I ever took them. And then I just eventually threw them away when I moved out. So when I got home, I wasn't taking a multivitamin. I just figured my diet would be fine. And about two weeks ago, um, I started working some extra hours for the, just the one that one week. I was going in at 3 a.m. And then getting off at like 6 or 7 in the morning, taking a nap in my car turn around and do my regular shift which was 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and then going home and repeating. Um, I for the most part was getting I was getting a decent amount of sleep for someone who was doing some weird things in the morning. Um, you know I'd get home I still was going to the gym and I'd come home you know and be in the bed around 9 9 30 um, to the best of my ability. There were some days there was 10 but um, 9 9 30 I'd wake up at like to get up, shower, go, and leave, and then start all over again. So come Thursday, after I've been working out and doing, working these extra hours, I was really tired. I wasn't really doing a lot of good for my body at all. Um, I got to work, I was feeling really, really bad the entire day. Like my head was hurting, I was feeling lightheaded, I kept feeling nauseous, and I just was like, for a moment there, I really thought I was prego, and I wasn't. I'm not. I'm not prego. The moment I know, you guys will know. Um, so I just, I couldn't, you know, so I was like, well, let me eat. Let me get something, go get a candy bar. I had the shakes. I couldn't stick the patience. I was just, I was all kinds of way screwed up. So I went and had my lunch, which was some sweet potatoes with a little bit of marshmallows. And I sat outside in the sun just to get a little bit of vitamin D. And I came back and about an hour later, I still was feeling pretty crappy, like pretty bad. Um, my head still was hurting. I was feeling pretty lightheaded. Like I was having to hold on to the walls to kind of keep standing up. So um, I, had, was taking a, I had taken a phone call and I was getting ready to take a patient back. I stood up and then fell right back down on the floor. Um, after getting, fine, trying to reach my boyfriend because I don't have signal in the hospital, so it, it was it was a mess. Um, I finally got a hold of him. He came and got me and took me to the urgent care. Um, he gave me a doctor's note for the rest of Thursday and all of Friday. Um, and they gave me something else. No, that was it. They just gave me the doctor's note. They, they drew some blood. They did an EKG. Everything was fine on the EKG. Um, and then my blood results came back Saturday afternoon. And she's like, oh my gosh, you're just a little anemic. Just a little. Um, we're going to call you in, you know, some iron supplements. I was like, okay. So, um, they call me in the iron supplements. Sunday, I go pick up my results. Um... And 
I don't know what her definition of a little anemic was, but I was two points away from me needing a blood transfusion. Um, and I was like, lady, you don't lie. Because then they asked for me to do additional testing for something else. So um, they, I guess they thought it was a GI bleed somewhere because it was fairly low for someone who's very, very active. Um, so, you know, my boyfriend wouldn't let me do anything. I couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't work out. I was pretty much a prisoner in my own home. You know, everyone was treating me like kid gloves because they thought I was just gonna die. It's like, I'm not dying. I'm just, just, you know, I don't know what's wrong. So I haven't had my blood checked in like two weeks because you gotta let the iron pills um, kick in. They gave me 200 milligrams of iron to take every single day. Um, which is 11 times the daily value, that's the suggested daily value, plus all the iron fortified cereals that I already eat, um, any other iron that I get in my diet. So I'm eating probably close to 350% of the daily value of iron every day. Um, so I say all this to say, please take care of yourself because you never know um, what's gonna happen when it's gonna happen. Um, I don't know how long I've been anemic. For all I know, it's been since I've been back. Um, and it just, you know, came to a head because I was doing all these crazy things with my schedule and working all these crazy hours. And I really wasn't eating because who's really gonna worry about eating when they're tired? Because I'm not. Um, and I was still working out. So I probably wasn't doing the best good for my body. Um, so just take care of yourself. Um, especially if you're active duty, um, especially if you're reservist because we're not being watched as often as someone who is active duty. Um, we're going about our normal lives and the military is not going to know that you're sick until you tell them. Um, so make sure you're taking care of yourself and if you're not in the military, still take care of yourself because you don't want to be doing a 5K and then following you just suddenly just pass out on the ground um, and then they're having to rush you to the ER to tell you, oh yeah, you know, so if you know there's stuff going on, just make sure you're taking care of yourself. Um, just word from the wise. Um, this all happened two and a half, three weeks ago and I'm just now being able to go to the gym by myself. I've had to have a buddy go with me last week. Um, and this week I was able to go by myself. And I've been going by myself. Um, I still can't really Zumba too hard because I get really winded um, very quickly, which leads me to believe I'm still kind of not where I need to be. Um, if you donate blood, which I think this is where some of this came from, was me donating um, my double units of red blood cells from that blood assurance. <clears throat> I don't think that helped either, but I was fine because I my iron levels were high enough for me to donate. They wouldn't let me do it anyway. Um, anyway, um, if you donate blood, make sure you're taking the supplements and you're taking care of yourself, drinking more fluids. Um, I think my body just, just, I never took care of myself enough to after I donated, so. Just, um, just word to the wise. Don't end up like me in urgent care um, with people poking you for things or you're having to do stool cards because those are not fun. Okay. All right. <laughs>